Welcome to Movies Outline. Today I am going to recap a 2019 movie named, Crawl. Before start warning. Spoilers ahead. A girl named, Haley, is shown at the film's beginning. She was competing in a swimming competition. Haley was putting her full struggle to win. But she loses the game. On being defeated, she had gone so upset. She begins to recall her father's words. Her father had always advised her, we should not shed tears before anyone. Due to this cause others take us weak. We have to be stronger not weaker. We should show ourselves strong before others. Later, it is seen that, Haley receives a video call from her sister. Who was informed that a terrible sea storm would break out in the city. And the people are being sent out of the city. And the predicted city for a storm is a city where their father used to live. She says that our father is not attending the call. Now Haley drives her car to the city in search of her father. She was also trying her best to call her father on the way. But her father does not receive the call, the storm was getting terrible. Police had blocked the road. Then a police officer stops, Haley, instructing her to not move ahead. He says, Haley, listen to me. A terrible storm will break out, so we cannot allow you to drive ahead at any risk. Haley tells that police officer on this, listen. My father is in the city and is also not attending my call, let me go, I have to rescue my father. That police officer consoles to bring her father. But she decided to rescue her father by herself. The police officer try to stop her. But she drives so fast, that they can't stop her. Next we see, the roads were also filled with water. Then, Haley listens to an announcement by radio transmission. The announcement is for warn all the people living in the city. They should leave the city because the sea storm is so terrible. The storm is in its full potential. Haley reaches the house of her father. She observes, her father's dog is alone. Everything was dispersed in the surroundings. Haley looks at some photos lying on the bed. She calls her sister, and she tells her about the condition of that place. Now she thinks, her father might be in their old house. So she goes to the old house with her dog. She begins to call her father, reaching there. But she found his cell phone in the same place. She sees there are plenty of plumbing equipment was placed. In the meantime, their dog was barking, standing near the basement. Then she thinks that her father surely had gone to check the pipe in the basement. She notices blood on the pipe when she moves to the basement. There she found her father, who was severely wounded and in an unconscious state. Now she was trying to restore her father's consciousness, but she fails. She tries to take his father to the ground floor. A big crocodile had appeared there as she reached the stairs. Then, Haley hides behind the pipe, taking her father. And that crocodile could not cross the pipe. Haley makes her father drink the rain water. Consequently, he comes into his senses a little bit. Haley found that her father's foot was fractured, escaping from that crocodile. When Haley was talking with her father, she notices that her cell phone is dropped behind. She searches for her cell phone and tries to pick it up. So she may ask for rescue from anyone. She observes that two big crocodiles have appeared there. They attack her, they were pulling towards them, gripping her foot. She gets her foot free from that crocodile and her cell phone had also broken in this commotion. Haley pricks something in the eye of that crocodile. As a result, it is wounded. And she reaches a safe place. Now the crocodile cannot reach her because of the pipes. Haley's foot was severely injured. She begins to dress her foot. On the other side, her father was also bandaging his leg. Now, Haley and her father have made a plan to escape from here. It is observed there that the water level was also increasing there because of the sea storm. Haley observes two people there through the window. They were stealing edible things from a store. Moreover they were carrying a ATM machine after stealing this. Haley was calling them for rescue, one of the men glimpses, Haley, there, he was going to rescue her. But a giant alligator had appeared in the water and it engulfs that man. After this. That alligator also hunted the rest of the two partners. In this way, all three thieves are badly victimized. 
Haley was very scared seeing them, Haley's father guides her while telling her about the second exit door of the basement. Reaching there, she exerts to unlock the door, but many objects were placed there. Now they had only one choice here, they move outside through drainage. But Haley's father tells her that both alligators had come here through this pipeline. It is very threatening to cross the way from there. After this, the same police officer is seen, who had come across Haley on the way. He had come to help Haley, taking one of his partners, Haley was delighted to see him and shouts loudly for help. She was warning them again and again, not to come to the basement cause two alligators are there. But that police officer was trying to move to the basement hearing their voice. At the same time, when he enters the basement, a giant alligator attack him. Haley tries to rescue him but she is late, that crocodile had killed that police officer, the other police partner is seen there who was repairing his boat outside. Then many crocodiles had also come there, killing that poor man at once. Haley had swum to her father there. Being panicked, she embraces her father. Meanwhile, her father was encouraging her saying, look, your elder sister could hold her breath in the water for a long time, her father was motivating her, you know how to swim well, how can you feel frustrated so quick? It is revealed here that Haley was in stress after the separation of her parents. It was the reason she lost the swimming competition that day. Haley's father tells her, I am responsible for my divorce, I had become so selfish that I deserve this. They both had become so emotional while talking, now Haley's father shares a plan here, telling, I will divert the attention of those crocodiles, so you will move upside through its path and you will rescue me, going there. Haley's father diverts the attention of one of the alligators and he kills it in trapping in a pipe and the another alligator was near the stairs. Now, Haley has to move through that drainage pipe, when she was moving through this, she observes many dead bodies there. Then she discovers a revolver near the dead body of a policeman. Now she was moving ahead, taking out that gun, then a giant crocodile appeared there. That crocodile had caught Haley's hand, Haley was constantly firing at it there, it bites Haley's hand. But she has killed that crocodile while firing her gun. Haley's hand was severely injured, and it was bleeding. Haley glimpses another crocodile there when she is attempting to cross the drainage pipe. That alligator was crawling towards her. But, Haley, comes out of that pipe all of a sudden. She had entered the house. Coming there, she begins to crack the floor, so that she may bring her father out of the basement. But the water level had increased too much. As a result, her father drowned in the water. But she eventually rescues her father from that water. Her father was not in his senses at all. So she treats him through CPR procedure. Now, Haley and her father noticed a boat outside, they decide to move away through that boat, but there were many alligators near that boat. Haley's father encourages her, saying, you can swim faster than those crocodiles. Haley is motivated here, she swim in the water as fast as she can. Then crocodiles had come to her all of a sudden. At last, she approached that boat. And she also made her father sit in that boat. Suddenly, the storm had broken out, Haley and her father flow into their house again with the boat. Now Haley and her father had separated and the water had also flooded their house. Haley's father discovers many fire explosives in the house. They keep it in their possession safely, so they may be used further for them. Haley finds a radio of a police officer in the water, she starts asking for help from him while telling him her location. On the other side Haley's father is seen who is trying to move upstairs. In the meantime, the alligator had come to them and caught them. Due to this, one of his hands had been dismembered, he was shouting with pain. Haley hears his shouting and begins to move to him hurriedly. One more alligator had come after Haley. Haley hides in a place. She trickily lock it at that place. Haley was moving upstairs taking her father. Then she hears the sound of a rescue helicopter. Haley says her father, we will have to move upward. Now she tells about her location through a flame stick near a window. At the same time a crocodile had come to her as being attracted by her flame stick. It catches the hand of Haley there, but she shows courage, she sticks that flame to the crocodile. Consequently, 
that alligator had stopped chasing Haley and she had come out of that place. But the water pressure was so high, she loses her balance. Meanwhile, her father pulls her upward. She feels little comfort. Then, Haley, again glimpses a rescue helicopter. Then she attracts the helicopter pilot while burning the flame stick. And that helicopter flies away rescuing them from there. In this way Haley and her father had rescued from those threatening alligators. The movie end here.